in all our discussions about who should appear on tonight show the name Thelma Tool was always high on the list Thelma is an elderly New Orleans lady whose son Ken wrote an ambitious comic novel 15 years ago his efforts to have the book published failed and in 1969 he committed suicide almost immediately his mother whose whole life had revolved around her only child set out to have the book published after years of trying, which included bursting in on famed author Walker Percy and demanding that he read the book, she succeeded. And now that novel, A Confederacy of Dunces, has broken all sales records for its publisher, the LSU Press, been on the bestseller list for months, and been acclaimed a masterpiece by critics all over the United States. What kind of a woman could accomplish such a thing? A woman like Thelma Toole. I tried three times. Twice he wasn't there, he was ill. And the third time he appeared and I took about 10 minutes of his time. I knew he was a busy man. He said, you're a mother. He said, you're prejudiced. I said, yes, I'd go before the most prestigious publishers of the world and tell them this is a masterpiece because I'm a, a mild critic of literature. I love literature, but I don't know how I'm rated, but I think I know literature. And my son adored literature. It's great. It's great, Dr. Percy. Please. Well, he did plan to read it, take it home with him, and within a week, he sent a card saying it's the most flavorful rendition of New Orleans that he had ever read. No one in the past has ever approached him, and no one in the future will ever approach Confederacy of Dunces for presenting New Orleans. Is Confederacy of Dunces autobiographical? How could Ignatius the slob be my elegant gentleman. My elegant gentleman with his French pride and his magnificent uh, sense of good taste and the nice things of life. There is absolutely no correlation of uh, Iggy Piggy, Ignatius, and my son. Several people have asked, why, how could that have been my son? How about Mrs. Riley? Is there any correlation between you and Mrs. Riley? Oh, no, I don't. A highly cultivated woman, three years old, introduced to speech and dramatic art. Ten years of piano study, five of violin. Sixteen years of dramatic art, a public school teacher. Could I have been, could you honestly ask me in my sense of good taste in dress and Irene O'Reilly with a pink hat and a yellow topper and a purple dress and old rundown wedges? No, never.